Yeah, so here we are at, the, at Swan Lake in Round Pond and we're going to be handing out Kentucky Fried Swan. So uh, it's actually Linda McCartney's uh, vegan fried chicken, um, but you know, we're going to see why people won't eat a swan, but they're happy to eat turkeys, you know, chickens, ducks and other birds here. These swans are protected species over in the UK, but uh, yeah, we, we're trying to highlight the hypocrisy and the speciesism inherent in society by doing this action. Would you like to try some? You are joking. No, it's free range. That's not true, this is a lie. That's not true. No, I'm pretty sure that's true. That's not true. Would you eat a swan? No. Why not? Is it swan? No, but I want to know, I want to know why, I want to know why you wouldn't eat a swan. Because I'm, I love them. You love swans? Yeah, I come here every day. Yeah. Because Yeah. But do you eat a chickens? Uh, not much. Mm, but do you eat a chickens? Do you eat chickens? I would if it's. Yeah. Not so much now. But you eat animals? No, not too much, but just a bit. Yeah. yeah. So, would you eat a bit of swan, just a bit? No. Not too much, just no. a little bit? No. no. Yeah. Why not? No, because they're beautiful. So, you only don't eat swans because they're beautiful, that's it? No, no, I will not eat any animals if I, if I can help it. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm trying to get people to think, like, you wouldn't eat a swan. A vegetarian, though. Mm. Yeah, I want people to think about why they wouldn't eat a swan because you would think it's cruel for me to go up and kill a swan, yeah? Yeah, it's cruel to kill anything. Anyone, yeah. But uh, here in the UK and across the world, that billions and billions and billions of chickens and turkeys and ducks are being slaughtered so people can eat their bodies. But I was uh, say, don't treat your body like a graveyard for murdered animals. It's like a, that is a, good a tomb. It's a tomb. That is, that is good. That is good, what you said. Yeah. This is good information. This is challenge 22. They give you help going vegan. Um, this I am, I am pretty good because I can opt out anything, you know, like yeah. dairy and... Dairy is really horrible for the animals yeah. as well. But you know what happens to the dairy cows. Yeah. Do you know what happens to the dairy cows? Tell me. Yeah, I mean, for a cow to give milk, she must first be pregnant, impregnated. So I'll show you um, a little bit about the dairy industry here. They take the, the semen from the, the male Okay, forcibly, they're forcing him to d do that. And then they inject it into the female, so he puts his fist inside of her and the, this is how they get them pregnant. It's horrible. They have to hold them down like this. Yeah. yeah I really don't want to go no. But, you, I know, but, but you pay for it. You, you consume it. You're paying for this industry, yeah, so you should yeah. see it. This yeah, why, is, do, why don't they have more people doing it? Doing this? Yeah, doing that. That's really tough. But there is a lot, there's a lot of people. But this is uh, what, with the calves, if the males don't produce milk, they, they take the male babies and they kill them. Because the males won't grow up to give dairy, so they take those calves away and they kill them. And sometimes they turn them to veal, or sometimes they'll grow them for beef. Um, but all the dairy cows, once they've had been impregnated year after year, usually about four or five years losing their calves and having the milk taken, they'll be sent to the slaughterhouse and turned into flesh. Cut, head cut off, turn into beef. So all those dairy cows will all be killed. So the dairy industry is the meat industry. It's the same thing, the same horror. And the same with the egg industry. Yeah. The egg industry, all the hens will be killed. The males won't be used. Yeah. So when they hatch, they throw them into a big blender. It's called a macerator. I've got, I've got footage of this. Yeah, they give them to, to cats and dog pet food. Yeah, like, um, it's called a macerator machine. Um, this is a free range farm here. Free range? Yeah. Oh it's a free range shed. So it's, it does not matter whether it's organic or free range. I mean, they're just a scroll. Organic do this as well to the, the male chicks. So as soon as they hatch. What are all these people talking about going organic? And Technically, and organic are, are better standards, but they still slaughter all those animals in the same slaughter. Yeah, like these animals, these swans here are free range. They're organic, free range. I mean, is it okay for me to go eat the swan because they're free range and organic. If they've had a good life and they're free range and they're organic here, these swans, I mean, why not? I, th I think it's still cruel. Did you cook this? Is it a brand? Yeah, this is a... Uh, would you like to try some swan, mate? No, no. You don't eat swans? Uh, no, no. But no, do, you, no. do you eat chickens? Uh, yes, but I don't eat swans. Why's that? Because I choose not to. Ah, you don't think it's cruel to eat swans or... Do you think it's cruel to eat swans? No. Ah, okay. I just choose not to. Okay. I think they're better over there. They're better in the water? Yeah. Okay. Chickens don't look too good anywhere. They can't even fly properly. Ah, oh, well, I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know about that. But some people don't like swans. No. Should they eat the swans? Uh, I suppose it's up to them. Really, but wouldn't. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't have a moral issue with me killing a swan and eating them? Uh, no, I might report you to the police or put a bullet in your head. What? You would? You'd be that angry? Yeah. yeah.
yeah. So why? Wow, it's the same as the chicken. Huh? It's, it's the same as the chicken. I don't. I don't really like what you're doing in a park here. No, I don't really like it. But I mean, it's up to you too. I don't know if there's a law against it or what. But it's only uh, they're actually protected in law. Swans. But what's the difference between they're a swan actually, and a... They're actually protected more. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah. why would you care if you're eating chickens and turkeys? No, 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 that's a separate issue. They're no, they're the same. It's the same issue. They're actually protected in law. You know? It doesn't matter. I want to know, to, to I want to know a, ethical. To me, a chicken is a food animal. At the moment, that's not. And I'm quite happy with that situation. But, but what about the ethics of it? Eh? What ethics? The, the ethics of swans versus chickens and turkeys. They're the same bird. Well, what's the, why are you here? What's the point of this? Is it you here to start an argument, isn't it? No, I want to know what the moral difference is between a swan and a chicken. Why are we killing billions, billions of chickens but not swans? Because that's, we, that, that's what we choose to do. Yeah, but we should have a rationale for that choice. Like a, a moral reason. Convenience, tradition, whatever you call it. Whatever yeah, but are these moral justifications to do this to chickens? Yes. Moral justifications? Yeah. Big fish eat little fish. That's life. Well, they're, they're little compared to me. Can I eat the swan? Uh, no, because they're protected. In it's law. convenient. And they're protected in law. It's convenient. Factory farm those anyway. We could factory farm them. Uh, I doubt it. Yes, you can. You can factory farm turkey, ducks. I, so, but I mean, I, I just personally wouldn't. Yeah. I, mean, I like them in part. You should think about why that is. Because I'm used to it. Yeah. Well, I'm happy Traditional. You know they used to eat swans traditionally they, too. They, the they, royal, they, the royalty they, used to eat swans. They did, but we don't know. Yeah, but we can. So, they're actually protected in law, you can't. It doesn't matter though. Like, it, lo what's legal and what's moral are two no, different no, things. No, 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 this is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. <laughs> no. You to start an argument, you've got one. I've been a fool, I've given you one. You're, you're... It's vegetarian anyway, mate. It's vegan. Is it? It's vegan. This is vegan. Uh, in which case, we're no good to me. I'm 100% carnivore. No, you're not. You're a herbivore. Uh, I'm actually an omnivore. <laughs> I reckon the dog's more of an omnivore. Because you wouldn't get if I ate a swan if you're a carnivore. You'd say, go, it's meat. Don't worry about it. You wouldn't want to shoot me in the head if I ate a swan. If you're a carnivore. I don't object to eating it. It's just that at the present time, it's not the done thing, so we don't. Yeah, but you said you'd get angry. But yeah, well, well, I would, because I mean, they're protected. You know, and if you start grabbing swans the park, don't you? I feel like you're contradicting yourself a bit there. But it, what, what you're doing here is just not an answer sacred. It's an important that we need to analyse morally. The important issue is the big fish in nature. They eat each other. Why would, why would you have a problem if I ate a swan? It's nature. Because it's against the law. It doesn't matter if it's against the law. And it's traditional that we don't eat swans. It's human slavery used to be legal. It was immoral. Human slavery used to be legal. So? I'm saying that what's legal isn't always what's moral. It's legal to kill and eat chickens. I don't think it's moral. Right? Well, I do. Because big fish eat little fish. Even in the wild, in the sea. Big fish eat well, well, fish. Well, the law of nature. What, what if we brought into a, a law of, to protect chickens? Right? What if we brought a law into... Because that's what we choose to do. Yeah, but I'm saying it's not a moral choice. I could choose to kick that bird. It's not moral to do so. People? Sorry? I've eaten those. Yeah, but so what's the difference between a pigeon and the... And a... because, because I like swans in the, in the swim on the lake. So it's a personal preference? Yes. Yeah. Plus they're protected in law. Some people have a personal preference to... Punch another person in the face for no reason. It's a personal preference. It's not a moral preference, though. No, no, you've been a trick. Go away, go away. <laughs> Sorry, I really don't want to talk to you. Can hey, brother. The uh, yeah, of course you can. This is just uh, made of soya. Can I try one? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. <laughs> You're an animal lover. You, you care. Love, you I care. Know, I can tell you care. You're a good person. I mean, I you, don't like what he said, though. You know, when he said about the, the factory, mm. I mean, like, the... the the ecosystem, you know, like biologically, you know, prey and all that, but it shouldn't be like that. You know? I think we should have an equal moral plane for animals. We should leave them all alone, swans, exactly. chickens, no, pigeons, leave totally them all be. Little. Like that's what he was trying to say. It's normal, it's natural, it's convenient, it's all these things. It's like, well, I care more about what's ethical, so like, even though they're free, like I wouldn't want to see someone kill them. Like even if they're in a factory farm, I still think that's wrong. But even if they're free roaming and organic, killing them is still wrong. Like I think using animals, period, in principle is wrong when we don't have to, when we can eat plants now, we have technology and we have fruits and vegetables and grains. And like we've evolved past, well, in most of the civilized world, exploiting other humans, you know, like we don't justify well, slavery we anymore. We started like eating cows because of exactly what you showed me and the emission of what they do. Yeah, Whatever. that's another issue. Yeah, that's another issue. It's a big issue, yeah. but I think that the more pressing issue for the animal is 
being slaughtered en masse, you know. I think this one is something that the animals can't voice no. their suffering, they can't say stop doing this, they're very vulnerable. Um, it's an animal rights issue to... So do they do that in all the uh, farms? The well, the majority of the farms here are factories. Um, so you're talking about 70% of the farms here in the UK are factories. When you talk about ch pigs and chickens, uh, 90, over 90% of pigs and over 95% of chickens are all in factory farms. Um, all the animals are all slaughtered viciously in slaughterhouses. They're shot in the head and have their heads cut off. This is the most pressing thing for me. Like, if I walked up to this swan right here and cut their head off, I'd be arrested, um, I'd be beaten by the public, but they will go and buy a chicken sandwich and pay someone to do exactly the same thing. It's enlightening now, especially with the, with the cow that you showed me. Now. The dairy industry, horrible, yeah. I don't take any dairy. No, yeah, that's good. Dairy's very horrible. I, I love cheese and I stopped eating. I love tofu though. Tofu is great. Very full of calcium, really healthy. Sorry, I really don't want to okay. drop. What's what? Oh, you, did you, you want to take it? Hi. Oh, hey buddy, how are you? Yeah. Good? Yeah. I'd... Sorry, you got me in the middle of a. Yeah, no yeah. worries. Cheers. Peace, brother. Really good to meet nice you, man. To meet you. Take yeah. care. That guy said he was going to put a bullet in my head if I touch those swans. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> I like to see people defending animals like they would defend like a human child or a person. Um, the only problem is that he is the biggest hypocrite because he's happy to torture and or pay for, for chickens to be tortured. Um, but then he started saying that, oh, I wouldn't have a problem if you ate him. Do you think it's cruel to eat swans? No. Ah, oh, okay. I just choose not to. Okay. But then he did have a problem. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have a moral issue with me killing a swan and eating them? Uh, no, I might report you to the police or put a bullet in your head. What? You would? You'd be that angry? Yeah. yeah. And he didn't. I don't object you eating it. Then he did. No, oh, no, it's traditional. Oh, no, I would only have a problem because they're protected. Like, if you go through exactly what he said, he actually spent the entire conversation going back and forth, contradicting himself, like, right there in front of our eyes, and he didn't really even notice it, which is really, like, it lacks awareness, for starters. Like, you wanted me to have a bullet in my head, or you'd call the police if I touched the swan, and then you're like, I actually wouldn't care if you ate the swan. So you're like, okay, which one is it? You want to try some, mate? We only got three left. Thank you, I'm good. You don't eat swans? <laughs> no. Really? They're free range? I don't know, there must be a lot of vegans around here. A lot of extreme vegans who won't eat swan. I mean, they've had a good life. They're in their natural habitat. Um, I hope these swans don't understand English. <laughs> We've only got three left, guys. They're going really quick. It's Kentucky Fried Swan. What is it? It's swan. A what? It's free range organic. We've only got three left. You don't eat swan? No, nah, she's auctioning them off now for Ken Kentucky Fried Swan. Well, it's not appropriate mid run though, is it? Really? Nah. But you know, you, you, you probably don't eat any birds then. You don't eat chickens or turkeys either then. No, I, I, not, not in the middle of a run, I don't. Nah, nah, nah. Well, that's good. I, I hope you don't eat any birds. <laughs> that, vegan. <laughs> Yeah, they see in the camera. <laughs> they know what's going on. You want to try some, mate? You don't eat swan? He's vegetarian. Oh, that's a bit extreme. Swan. Very, very extreme. Do you guys want to take the rest of this swan? It's free range. It? It's fresh out the pond. Are you serious? Yeah. You, you guys don't eat swan? Swan? No, never. Do you, would you eat birds like turkeys and chickens? Oh, really? This is the same. This is just a swan, but... uh. And, and who's, who's making that? Who's well, the company's called Circle of Life. Ah, okay, alright. Yeah, because it's the Circle of Life to eat swans. What is, is it cooked or what? Yeah, we just take them out of the pond and we slaughter them humanely. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Do you want to take it? It's, it's actually vegan. Vegan friendly. Right? This is vegan. <laughs> it's actually this. <clears throat> We're trying to get people to think about... And, and where do you buy this? Oh, Tesco. Tesco, is it? Yeah. Oh. Fried swan. We want people to think about the animals they're eating. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, yeah. We want people to stop being cruel to animals and start eating uh, plant-based and leave the animals alone. Very good idea, yeah, yeah. We're trying to go a couple of times vegan. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We must get so much reaction from that. Yeah, birds. people get angry. <laughs> but they're hypocrites because they go and they pay for a turkey or a chicken yeah, to have their yeah, throat slit. Yeah. That are the same. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <clears throat> you know. That's a great idea. Yeah. I like your videos, mate. Very good. Thanks, brother. Peace to you, mate. <laughs>
Yes. Thank you very much. The first thing for me was to understand when I went vegan was to see I'm a hypocrite. I can say I care about animals. Yeah. Only some species, dogs and cats and dolphins, yeah. whales, but I'm eating a cow, a chicken, a pig, yeah, yeah. you know, that I would never want to see slaughtered in front of me. But yeah. And how long have you been vegan? Seven years. So, and you feel good? Yeah. Feel good. So I focus mostly on whole foods, plants. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and there's a lot of there's information on health in there as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll try it. Yeah. Wonderful. These are, a bit, these are a bit unhealthy, but I like to have a bit of junk food too. I like to have a burger and some vegan cheese and ice cream. Definitely. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank Bless you. So Take care. Take care. <laughs> that was really nice. Good. That's a good reaction, eh? <laughs> you guys want to take the rest of this swan? We're, we're packing up now. We'll just give it out the rest of this swan um, before we pack up. Oh. Sorry? Feed the swans. No, no, this is actually Kentucky Fried Swan. Okay. Yeah, we, we take them out of the pond and we slaughter them humanely and we, we fry them up. Um, our company's called Circle of Life. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to take some home. Right, I'll take you them. eat swans? I've never had swan. Oh, yeah, okay. No, it was edible. I didn't know oh, well, you eat, do you eat chickens and turkeys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll try it. Yeah. What do you have to do with it? Do you, have to you, it? you have to heat it in the oven. But here you go. It's actually this, and we're giving out information on why we shouldn't eat animals. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you like to try some? Do you want to take some with you as well? We've only got one more left. Wow. We're trying to get people to understand that there's no difference between animals. <laughs> no, I didn't think you could kill swans. I thought they were like... Protected? Yeah. yeah. I think all animals should be protected, even chickens and turkeys. Because okay. they're, they're, they're inherently the same, aren't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. They all suffer the same. <laughs> Take care guys. Okay. So there we go, Kentucky Fried Swan. It did the trick. We got people thinking about speciesism, had some really good conversations, really positive responses. People got to take home a little bit of vegan fried chicken and yeah, let's see how we go with the next one. There, there's so many in there. Like, they're gonna overpopulate if we don't eat them all. Yeah, circle of life. So guys, in the comments section down below, I want you guys to tell me what the next animal we should do is to highlight the species. And what's the next animal we should, you know, should it be, you know, somewhere outside of like some park? What animal should we trick people into thinking that we're selling to highlight the speciesism that's inherent in society? Leave it down below. What should be the next, uh, you know, species of animal that we choose to get people thinking?